So, you love talk radio, then you'll love TalkStreamLive.com. TalkStream Live is always on, 24-7, with the best streaming talk shows. Find your favorite talkers and discover some new ones. It's free, readily available online, or on the smartphone or tablet. Finding your favorite talk shows all in one place has gotten a whole lot easier. Just go to TalkStreamLive.com. Be sure to download the free apps from Google Play or the iTunes App Store. Go to Antique Obsessions for the hottest in jewelry, antiques, repurposed, solid sterling silver, one of a kind, handmade by Bruce and Jaja. Go to uh, our Facebook, which is Antique Obsessions, or you can go to Etsy.com and go to Antique Obsessions, one word, or type it into your Google and find us there. Thanks. Tribal, primitive, primitive rustic, rustic, burning man, punk rock, conceptual subculture for the edgiest, most cutting edge designs of jewelry today. Go to Etsy.com slash shop slash conceptual subculture or one word either by going to Google or search Etsy, E-T-S-Y dot com and type in one word conceptual subculture. You will find the hottest designs using natural stones with wire wrap rings, rough, raw, genuine, semi-precious gemstone jewelry, solid sterling silver, copper, leather, organite, bracelets, pendants, chokers, men's copper cups with sterling accents, eco-friendly, repurposed, original, one-of-a-kind design earrings. Support MBN by going to Conceptual Subculture on Etsy. Warning, warning, everything I say is fucking crazy and should not be reinterpreted or reenacted because you will be either shot or MDAA'd. Warning. You got nothing on me, you know it. I'm going to call my co-host. She's such a good lawyer for me. That by tomorrow morning, your ass is going to be working in Alaska. So dress warm. So depressed. I don't know what to do. Hey, go for it, man. It's easy for you to say you got the promotion. Look, it'll come, all right? Just don't worry about it. The feeling is definitely there. It's a new morning in America. Fresh, vital. The old cynicism is gone. We have faith in our leaders. About to incite a riot. Make some noise, break up the silence. Scream and shout, no being quiet. Spread the facts until you buy it. Come to my den, I got toys for torture. We drink the blood fresh just to stay immortal. We bring a thug fest, calling all New Yorkers. And keep a bayonet for the future slaughters. gentlemen that's right i said it i don't care if you're not a lady and you're not a gentleman i say what i want you're listening to the bruce montalvo show it is july 7th 2017 and i hope that the fourth was with you you're listening to the bruce montalvo show I tell you what I spent my 4th of July doing. I just 
was watching Star Wars. That's what I was doing. My head was in the clouds. I was smoking the reefer. I put on all sorts of movies, you know. Obviously, I was watching Scarface because, let me tell you something, man. I feel like I'm going to fucking stomp some cockroaches, huh? Oh, my co-host finally decided <laughs> to join me. Here she is. Say hello. Hello. What's up? Happy Shabbos. Happy Shabbos. Don't light your house on fire. Watch those candles. Especially you weirdo fucking orthodox people. <laughs> They're fucking weird. With the chicken slapping and the baby blood sucking on the dick. You know I was going to say that, right? No, but now I'm being anti-Semitic. Now I support David Duke how for no fucking but reason. How come, but I can't stand the guy. But how come I never knew about any chicken slapping until I started Isn't your last name supposed to be Jewish? What? What? You, you're an old Sephardim. You got an old Sephardic. And I don't like the Polacks that are running around and they're a fucking cult to me. Yeah, they're they are a cult. cult. You're right. They're, they're weirdos. They are a lot of okay? weirdos, yeah. They're weirdos. But, but some of them are They're still... probably run by reptilians. They don't even know it, folks. Okay? Reptilians, yes. Anyway, I've been battling with a lot of, not just reptilians, but cockroaches, man. I told them not to fuck with me. Okay? I tell them, look at you now. You fucking piece of shit. That's right. Look, I can do a better Tony Montana, better than that fucking wetback George Lopez. What are you still doing here, motherfucker? Huh? Why don't you go move back to Bangladesh? Trump's president now. Nobody wants you. Nobody needs you. You fucking suck, George Lopez. And if you were ever in my face, I would fucking slap the taste out of your mouth. Okay? That's right. We, we are filled with hate. We're filled with violence. You know why? Because of memes. Because it's a meme war. CNN was right. Oh my god. A meme is causing me to be uh, violent. Bunch of fucking pussies. You know what CNN is like? They're like... They're like the Legion of Doom. Look, I got the funnies right here. This, this modern world. Usually they can't shut the fuck up about Trump. Usually they're always up Trump's ass. And now look. The narrative is starting to change. Look at this. A clandestine meeting of the secret headquarters of the nefarious fake news media. Trump is pulling out of the Paris Accord. We'll need to double down on the myth of global warming to make him look bad. These are all the picture of the Legion of Doom. You know, they're working for the fucking empire. You know, for Darth Sidious, the, the CNNs and the MSLSDs. They're all hanging out. Wolf Blitzer and that... that uh, that homo that was in love with freaking uh, Obama, Chris Matthews. That's right, I said it. He's a fucking homo. And that other guy, Jim Acosta, they're all there sucking each other's dicks. And this is what they say. They're just plotting how to take out Trump. It says, oh, Trump is pulling out of the Paris Accord. 97% of the world's scientists are in on the conspiracy. Let's get those people on air, along with the climate skeptics, of course, to maintain the plausible deniability. And obviously, we must continue to make up lies about Trump and Russia. We've already fooled the Democrats on the House and Senate Intel Committees and our laughably, laughingly fictional narrative, uh, it says here, not to mention the FBI and the new special counsel suckers. Our entirely fabricated story about Kushner seeking a, black, a back channel to Putin before the inauguration is really doing some damage. It's fortunate that our allies in the deep state were able to forge those messages from the Ambassador Kislyak to the Kremlin. See, it sounds like Star Wars. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Americans will believe anything. You see this? That, that, that's not far from the truth. Okay? It's not far from the truth. That's exactly how they've been plotting against President Trump. And who knew that a simple meme from a 13 year old on reddit would literally bring down the machine it was like they live when roddy piper went up to the top of cable uh 54 news and blew up their satellite well in this instance cable 54 news is cnn okay and a meme is taking out cnn's freaking signal a meme from a a 13 year old it's unbelievable so thus over the 4th of July, the force was with us, patriots, and the great meme war started. That's right, hilarious memes like, super make America great again, brothers. That, it, got, it has Trump, like, jumping around. He's like the little uh, fire 
uh, the Fire Flower Super Mario taking out Bowser, a.k.a. CNN, and he's getting the flag at the end, right? And then there was this other hilarious meme. They had uh, Bob Barker and Adam Sandler going at it because CNN is, is literally as goofy as fucking Adam Sandler. You remember that fight from uh, Happy Gilmore? Well, guess what? Trump is Bob Barker, and he's beating the shit out of CNN, a.k.a. Adam Sandler, look at that, he's just jabbing him, jabbing, jabbing him, jabbing him, jabbing him, and then boom, a freaking right hand right into the lake. I'm telling you, that, that that's what it's like, folks. I mean, hilarious memes. This meme definitely put CNN's panties in a bunch. It looks like, uh, looks like, uh, what is it, Raiders of the Lost Ark or uh, Indiana Jones going up against some uh, sand monkey, some Arab, wielding his freaking sword, and then boom, Trump just pulls out a... A revolver and shoots him. It shoots down CNN. Oh my God, that's inciting violence. Or how about uh, Trump as Neo kicking the shit out of uh, those uh, FBI Matrix dudes, aka CNN. Look at that big boot right there, right to the freaking face. I'm telling you, this meme war, the great meme war has started, and it's just like it's just like Trump said. What he said, I'm president and you're not to the fake media, and that's exactly it. Look, they're plotting. Okay, at the end of that nefarious funny that I was reading, it says here that we it won't be easy, but we must keep trying. It says here, damn it, how can our campaign of deception ever succeed when his infallible logic is amplified by the power of Twitter? That's right. That's why Trump tweeting is his most effective weapon. Okay, it's his most effective weapon. And here you have the... Uh, Fake news media, the clandestine meeting headquarters of the fake news media. You see who's who's behind them, who's funding them. They they say it right here on the funnies. It says here, it won't be easy, but we must keep trying. That's what Mr. Soros pays us for. See that? So again, keep the memes coming, folks. I mean, some of the best memes are uh are yet to come. If they have, they have CNN literally shaking, shaking at their freaking boots. I mean, they, they are, they're dropping their panties, they're peeing their panties in fright, all right? And, and the American eagle has been fr in fright of, of what these uh, evildoers have been doing, okay? Picture a world like the Twilight Zone where, you know, the doctors that are supposed to heal you, destroy you, and the bankers destroy the economy and the news destroys the truth. That's what you have, folks. I mean, non-stop, non-stop uh, fuckery. They start us off at the starting line in order to ensure that they screw us and screw us and keep screwing us. But we're just going to keep sailing the seas of Saturn, right? While, while our footprint will eventually wash away. What are you going to do while you're here? Are you going to take take part in the great CNN meme war? Let me tell you, if, if I were to make one of these memes, it would be the meme from uh, from Friday. It's got that for Debo and DJ Pooh. And uh, Debo jacked uh, DJ Pooh's bike, and he tries asking for it again. And then Debo just like, boom! And then that's when Smokey goes up to him and says, you got knocked the fuck out. I would make Trump Debo knocking out a uh, DJ Poo slash CNN. I mean, what do you think of the great meme war? I mean, they're funny, right? Mm. Yeah, I think um, there's some really awesome memes that are, you know, Trump was right. He's the biggest thing since uh, French fries, you know what I'm saying? Like, people just, they got to talk about him. And in Iran, they're having a... competitions, cartoon competitions to draw him. I mean, everywhere. He's, he's huge. Huge, literally. Yeah. They're good. Some of them are really funny. I think there was one from Infowars that was really nice because they got him well, on. with Indiana Jones. Well, yeah, and they, you know what? It wasn't just his stupid face cut out. It was like his face in motion, right? Yes. Okay, so it was done really like a little bit sophisticated. and They, they have good graphics there. You know, they, uh, yeah, that's just good, man. It's not just like... You see the sad out. monkey wielding his barbaric sword <laughs> and it's CNN because you know how much it's they great. love the sand monkeys and Trump's just looking at him like, 
bitch, please. Boom. Yeah, they got his face laughing at him. That that was fucking amazing. Isn't that that funny? But, you know, Trump did something that was even more huge. Mm. Okay? You know, it it was big league. Like he likes to say, big league. I mean, I'm talking about huge. It literally was a reversal of anything that warmonger Obama did. As you see that the U.S. and Russia have reached a historic deal with Syria, a ceasefire. This is a huge victory for Trump, is it not? Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't really believe any of that shit. I'm so like, you know, Dr. Strange love to me, you know. But I do think that I'm glad that he's showing that he's a, you know, a, a big guy. You Stand know? up guy. Yeah, and he's like approaching Russia and showing the world, saying, fuck you. Well, what, I'm, I'm a businessman and, we, you know, this is uh, ridiculous. Redonkulous. I mean, Hillary Clinton was already in, in had ties with Russia. Why are you putting out another country? What are you trying to like re re up the whole Cold War? But regardless, like, the Russia obsessed left will keep talking about Russia no matter what, right? You know, everybody likes to. They love lies. They love repeating lies. This is un- unbelievable. We just got out of court today, and it's just the lies are so obvious. That even the judge, even the judge says that, you know, they're talking out of their assholes. So, that's what happens to liars. Eventually, they're going to come to light. I mean, I'm good with law. I'm not a a full-time lawyer, but I was able to, like, bring the argument to the court for you. and, And all they could bring were fucking lies. Even the judge was like, hells no. Why don't you tell what happened a little bit, just so you well, know. Well, for those that don't know, that don't keep up with the Bruce Montalvo show, I am being attacked. And how does the Illuminati attack? They attack you by attacking your family, attacking you personally. And I have been attacked most of my life, if not all my life, by my Jesuit mother, who did not want to convert to the the light side of the force. She turned to the dark side. And she she practices witchcraft, you know? She turned to the dark side. She has no idea that the Virgin of Guadalupe is an Assyrian deity, an evil demon. She goes to Brujas. She goes to Brujas, and she stole my child from me. Uh, It's been about seven months since I've uh, had any contact with my child. I mean, I'm afraid. They got FBI lawyers trying to fight me. I don't know if this is part of some Pizzagate thing. I don't know what they could be doing to my daughter if they have her in some dark dungeon somewhere. And I don't know what pig fucking pussy pieces of shit that are lucky that I don't know what the fuck they're doing because I would shove a fucking hand cannon right up their fucking asses. And the worst thing is, is that we're pretty sure that we figured out that your mother was molested. Um, And... She was sexually. I don't know what her intentions are. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if John Podesta could be trying to get back at me. You know, who knows? Because we expose the Pizzagate thing. I go after the 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 top, the tip of the power structure, which is the Vatican, and you know how implicated the Vatican is in in child uh, trafficking and, and child sex. I mean, let me tell you something. They take the kids. And they literally uh, grind them into mush to make their porridge. I mean, they use the kids for, for bone marrow. Well, I don't know if they would be doing that to your daughter. I, I'm not saying out. they are. I'm more concerned. I would be strapped like fucking Rambo if that was the case. Yeah. We're doing this thing legally. Uh, but but I'm sensing that I'm being fought at all sides. I was supposed to have an ex parte meeting. And I don't know what the fuck happened that these, these evil tyrants ended up being there trying to say that I'm the child abductor when I haven't even talk to my kid in seven months and they are the ones that are abducting my child from me they're going hey, look if you're a patriot they're going after your kids okay? the judge they're going after but your the kids. judge wasn't against you the judge was totally in accord and they said that your mother's lying basically and the judge and the, their lawyer was I don't know what places they take my daughter to I don't know if this taekwondo dojo is part of some pizza gate fucking thing I don't know I'm how you say paranoid yeah. Okay. Well, I'm more paranoid that your mother, because she's, because your kid stays in the bed with her, is is a real sicko. So they're trying to use her. they're trying to use the fact that I'm a shock jock, and I told uh, my mother on uh, various instances over the phone, over recorded messages, that I would, and and I quote, "fuck her lawyer in the ass with the law." Yeah. Now that is my First Amendment right. Now they already went over my head and tried to deny me due process by serving. 
me the the papers uh, for their their guardianship what originally to the, to the Brooklyn address where we used to live yeah so you never so, had knowledge so this is a dirty lawyer he works for the FBI he talks about illumination and the Illuminati the, his this, tacky ass website this, too. this Can motherfucker we I am gonna personally well, fuck this son of a bitch in the ass with the law, ladies and gentlemen. And the funny thing is, is that I told him, I gave him a warning today, I said, please, we would welcome, we know we already are anticipating all the messages that your client has been saving, that will have no bearing in court, uh, and the judge even admitted today, said, oh, all those messages, were any of them at Ruby or to Ruby, or did Ruby hear them, you know, when they addressed well, them? just to the depraved kidnappers. He said, no, well, then, it, yeah, it was kidnappers. just to the depraved kidnappers. It has no bearing on, on this case. So, but I, but, but for, for me, I've already studied it on a tort law, and I will go after your fucking parents for emotional distress, child kidnapping, and interfering with the parental, uh, um, the pr pr parenting time. You know what, I've talked okay? about my, Penal laws. I've talked about my evil mother so much, that I'm going to make her part of the great meme war. I have a great meme. I have her ugly ass face. So you can She's see her just how ugly. evil my mother is. I mean, I'm a good looking son gorgeous. of a bitch. But, but my mother came out pretty ugly now. But I, I'm going to put her next to uh, They Live Alien. So you can see the uncanny resemblance. Uncanny. You know, she was very cute when she was young. Like 18, 19, 20. She was very cute. Um, you, your father was super handsome. You got the best of both of them. But I think the evil in your mother and her stupidity and the woman thinks she knows everything and she, she's an isolationist, she hides out, she has no friends. I think she lives in fear and she's a bitter, sick woman. Let me tell that you something. makes her ugly. Let me tell you something. This is just like The Force Awakens. Okay, it's like, uh, uh, you know, my family's as fucked up as Han Solo and Princess Leia's family. I, and who knows, they're twisting my kid to come back and, and put a lightsaber through me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's they're trying to ki twist my kid. I don't know what. I'm, I'm fighting, folks, with the law. I'm defending my First Amendment rights. And, and I, I'm doing it pro se. Most people don't know their ass from their elbow. They don't even know the occult meaning of, of the Watergate and the fact that I... It's all maritime law. The fact that I am the manufacturer, hence the man. The manufacturer, Ruby, already set sail, gave birth in the dock. She is uh, a product of the state. Now, I am going to the state to let them know that, hey, she has been kidnapped by, like, fucking Somali pirates. Yeah, she came out of the a portal from hell, though. She sure did. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I don't know if my kid is a, a fucking reptilian. Well, she's been a Somalian I, refugee, but yeah, she's like, God. without being Somalian, she's American, and she's your kid. You know, and she's totally being uh, hibernated. And her lawyer spoke up and said, oh, yeah, she wants to talk to you. But, um, you know, that's, that's more proof that, that your mother is hurting your own kid. And she thinks she knows the law. She thinks just by... Paying her five thousand dollars to her lawyer, it's gonna it's gonna make her stronger. In fact, I'm gonna make her fucking mortgage her house for the third time. You I'm know what I'm gonna do, ladies and gentlemen? The show's about to get big. I, I'm seriously, I'm gonna take all the money from uh, my uh, fucked up family. Okay, I'm gonna take whatever they don't have, and I'm gonna like put it all into like AM radio, so I compete with like Michael Savage, because he thinks I'm not a talk show host. He wouldn't uh, let us talk to him today. No, he never lets us we talk to him. We tried to call. We called this fucking guy to have our <laughs> debut, right? He didn't because want he was like, oh, emerging talk shows, call my show. No, but what, am, what, what, what am I going to do? Look, Michael, I don't need you to be a talk show host, all right? <laughs> First and foremost, what, what are you going to have me do? Some type of sick ritual? What, I'm going to have to get into a fucking uh, jacuzzi with Allen Ginsberg Jr.? Okay, but Michael was away and he had some subs. And I guess they were so fucking bad. Then nobody listened to him. So then he started, like, crying and complaining and having a whole show about, you know, talk radio. But he doesn't want to put somebody like you Look, on. Look, if he wants to have, listen to me, enough with the fucking negative, okay? It's negatory, all right? Shut your face, all right? I, who better than Bruce Montalvo? I mean, I could destroy the palace idiots or the fake Estinians, as I call them, all right? First of all, it was called Judea and Samaria. I never said nothing about no goddamn stinky Arabs from fucking Jordan. They're a bunch of terrorists. Yeah, but that's why he won't pick you because you can't say fucking, fucking, fucking. But we can deal with that. I could say fucking on this goddamn fucking show. Right, but you would never do it on his. 
Well, that's a national syndicated talk. Oh, Look, I have does. proven, I've been around for like, I don't know how many years now. I've proven that I have an excellent radio etiquette, all right? But your little foul mouth ass came around and married me, and now you have and me. Hands. Now, okay. Yeah, but, you know, I was like a teacher, and I would never curse, and, you know, there, there's a time and a place for it. So, I mean, we were just in court. Besides, we I am a heavy marijuana smoker and a strong advocate of the flat earth. So I doubt they will ever have I me on it. any major Masonic radio wave. No way. Dude. Okay, because let me let me break it down for you. You see that bank, the UBS bank? All right, let me let me break it down for you. Okay, I ex I expose hidden symbols. Now look at the UBS bank. You ever heard of that saying? He who has the gold makes the rules. The golden rule. Well, the Vatican makes the rules. Okay, they have the golden rule. Now you see UBS bank. You see the three keys on there. It's it's. Familiar, isn't it? They're the same keys that represent the Vatican. Uh, there you have a direct connection. I mean, going back to what caused the Great Depression, which was Legatus, the, Bat the Vatican Bank. The, the Vatican makes the rules, okay? They make the rules, and, you know, they're, they're working with CERN. They're working with all these, these just anomalous freaking machines. Now, you don't even know what the Jesuit role really is in the dramatic, you know, times that we're in, right? I'm pretty sure that any UFO that's flying around is part of this Nazi secret space program. You see the Jesuits, the Nazis, they both had iron crosses, right? Mm -hmm. That's because they're the same fucking crew. Right. Okay, they're the same crew. So any UFO you see, oh, the, I saw UFOs in Mexico, blah, blah, blah. They're more than likely there's a bunch of Nazis playing around with their toys <laughs> out there. there. Are, there, are, there definitely are. Okay. The Nazis won the war. No, no, but they're, they're going to lie to us. They're going to say the Nazis didn't win the war. The the kids at Sandy Hook are still alive, even though... Uh, are, still, uh, are dead, even though they're still alive. Right. Even though I saw them at the, the fucking Bowl. Super Bowl. Yeah, every single one of them. Literally, and smoking gun like evidence. Years later, Literally, so. smoking gun evidence that no children ever died at Sandy Hook. Yeah, and then it was also not in the FBI reports on top of that. There were zero deaths in the official report on the FBI website that there were no deaths. Zero killed. But you know who controls the media, who <laughs> controls the music industry, who controls the world? The Jesuits. The Jesuits who are definitely more powerful than the globalists because let's face it, globalists don't exist. We don't live on a fucking globe. Okay, you, you see the, the measure, the how to measure with the, with the level? Well, a level is based on, on water always being level. So how is it just going to be shaped into a fucking ball out of nowhere, right? I mean, I know. Duh. Wouldn't, wouldn't you say if we were always on a curve? I mean, use your big college listen brain, to me. people. Let's just listen as an artist. If it was ever on a curve, wouldn't when you put the leveler, you wouldn't you see like even a faint curve at the at both either ends? Just because if that's what everything's going, we're just bending? No, you'll never see it because... Never. Never. Because we're, we're on water level. And that's where we're measuring it at. The, uh, the flat earth, and no matter how high they go, in an airplane or in a balloon or flying around like a bunch of freaking, you know, like with your wings on, you know, with your own gliders and shit, you will never ever see the curve of an earth. Just go to the top of the Himalayas, go to the top of the Andes. Empire you State will, Building. Our friend Dan Bedon, the event for wars, flies 40,000 feet in the air, never has seen the curvature of the earth. That's just one part. My of father it. had a plane. We your always father. flew around. Um, I never saw the curvature of the earth. The only time I thought I saw it was when we were going to Israel when I was very young. But in fact, and that was the only place, don't worry, that's, um, I, and that was just the window that was curved. Right. Well, folks, look, the, the Jesuits literally, they have a, a program to destroy this country. Okay, it's simple. They, they demoralize us here in the United States, in this country, okay, with uh, the fake news. Again, the, the fake news combine, the legion of doom that is CNN and MSNBC, all right? And uh, they, they try to destabilize the American people, okay, with all these uh, false narratives, again, uh, using controlled opposition out there.
Okay, again, Jesuits are the best spies. Okay, they, they keep orchestrating crisis after crisis. Okay, you have your war on terror, the Great Depression, like I mentioned, 9-11, and so on. And then they force this illegal, draconian legislation upon us, like the NDAA, and, and so forth. Again, m making things like pedophilia and uh, transgenderism normal to degradate the society. That, that's how the Jesuits work. Right. But they work even on a more sinister level, yeah, these Masonic sublime. Jesuits. More sublime than, than, than you could even imagine. Okay, the, the world control, this uh, system of world control, they use uh, uh, the, this, this uh, gematria, okay, this uh, numerology, they call it celestial physics. Okay, they, they rule the world with gematria. What's the difference between astrophysics and celestial physics? That is a, a excellent question to uh, to ponder. We have uh, celestial mechanics. That is that is how these these Jesuits uh, rule the world. N nothing happens by coincidence. They have everything timed out. I mean, perfectly. I mean, but but that is, that's how they institute their system of control. Okay, because going back, I mean, the the Mayas, they knew which which of their children would be warriors and which ones would be psychics. They had a, a, similar, a similar method of, uh, of studying the calendar and the dates and, again, the, the moon and, and the sun and all these positions. So that, that, that is how the, it's the occult. That is what we're surrounded by is the occult. I mean, even Donald Trump is part of it. In his uh, 66th floor of, of, of the Trump Tower, he has a... Uh, a statue, an homage to Apollo. <laughs> but again, uh, he, he's the emperor of Kekistan, folks. And, and <laughs> you know, he's got yeah, Apollo, hey, it's all sun worship. I mean, think about it. Apollo, uh, Jesus, they all got sun rays emanating from them, right? Hermes. What is that? What is that representative of? The sun. This is sun worship. It goes back. I mean, that, that is what the occultists uh, believe in. That is their Bible. It's sun worship is so, very simple. so the Vatican are just sun worshippers and they they and they tell all the idiots to worship the son of God and they also suck the innocence the life out of our our most uh, precious members of society and yeah. that that is our children yeah just think of let's look at Satan I mean Santa Claus I mean any old guy that's looking for a job I'm Saturn just with, and they have little kids sit on their laps unbelievable most of them are probably pedophiles they sure are. Well, and, and CNN will, will protect these pedophiles. Will, what? No, there's no reports of uh, uh, Podesta. Nothing. I mean, you would never ever uh, find a, a uh, report like the, the PizzaGate report that Ben Swan did regarding PizzaGate and how he just broke down how this is the FBI dossier. Even Alex Jones, what they call us fake news, right? Almost like a, a distraction because. In a way, Pizzagate is a distraction because it's much bigger than that. It's a worldwide cabal uh, of pedophilia that is spearheaded at the very top by of uh, the very top of this this pyramid by the Vatican. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you get into a pyramid? You got to go all the way to the top to get into the pyramid. But they set up a lot of those pedophiles. They they use it. That's those are their um their minions, right? They use them. They get them by the balls. They, they bring them in, open arms. Oh, hey, like with Anthony Weiner, for instance. Do whatever you want. Anthony Weiner, hey, for instance. Who, who, who they, they more than likely made the patsy so that guys like Podesta or Schumer wouldn't take the fall. Right. Yeah, exactly. You know, they still set it up because they'll, they'll hide the, uh, their, you know, if you're really loyal to the order or the, the evil order. And uh, they know that they can use you to do their dirty work. Like, you'd have to be in a position of power so that you can actually do dirty work for them. And they like to have you secrets on you. So but the way they do that is by off. they know that there's a lot of weakness in people. And they just keep, they'll get somebody to introduce them to some kind of a, a pedophilia fantasy. They'll catch them in some shit. And, and they'll have them by their balls. I mean, we just saw this film the other day. Um, I picked it out, um, 
called Split. It was made by my favorite people, the Universal uh, producers. And, Being sarcastic, folks. Yeah, they've just constantly robbed me. They never put me on, and they just steal from me, Universal. So, but they like to run the world, you know. Universal music, everybody's, uh, you, you know, it's the Universal. They message. they love to run the flat Earth, right? But go on. This movie Split. Uh, I recall watching it, and it was about. Exactly that, kidnapping little girls from mm -hmm. school. It was a psychomaniac that kind of looked like a younger version of John Podesta. And they give him like this super soldier formula. He turns into a Hulk. He crushes an older woman. He eats a little girl. He kills another girl. He's got then 24 personalities. This other girl's sh shooting it with shotguns. Nothing happens to him. And in the end, the, the only thing that makes this guy freak out and like, you know, turn it's a into trigger. A trigger point for him is a Kanye West song. He starts dancing like he's fucking Nosferatu, which is, which is, uh, I mean, just crazy because didn't Kanye West get locked up NDAA. after supposedly speaking about Pizzagate mentioning uh, Jay Z? I didn't hear him say anything about Pizzagate. It oh, was no, but more it's like a it was more like a, a a call for help. Like, hey, I got people looking at me, man. Man, uh, the gay fish story ain't working anymore, man. They're, they're, they're finding out about my other proclivities. Well, listen, let me just tell you something, Kanye, okay? You keep fucking with that store. Let me tell you something. I knew your fucking pilot, and I got a story on you, and I'm going to bust it open so hard. Why don't you bust you it keep... open right no, now? No, 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 I'm not going to. No, because you know what? I'm going to respect my friend's, my friend's uh, what he told me, and... And it will just back up that story. And that is our own protection. First of all, why enough for you. Why do they mention Kanye West so much in this movie Split? That's because Hollywood knows that he flies around with little girls. Okay? Hollywood knows that he flies around with, with little girls. And this is Kanye fucking West. Fuck you. All right? You no talented piece of fucking shit. You know how many songs you stole from me, Bruce? 58 I have. Probably more. But 58 I got back to back. I'm going to put that shit out. He ain't going to fucking own his own face anymore. Look, first of all, Kanye West plays zero instrument, instruments. Okay, he, he samples uh, uh, he samples other people's music. Okay, he uses auto-tune to sing. And this motherfucker has the audacity to call himself a genius. More like a fucking turd stain, you know, at, at, on a piece of toilet paper. Oh, and How if, about they wanted, that? if they want to pretend that they don't know who the fuck I am, Kanye... Guess what? I know your fucking best friend, 88 Keys. I have fucking five songs with that nigga, okay? I was up in his place uptown in Manhattan. Um, so don't fucking front. I know your people. I know mad fucking people. I was best. I was really tight buddies with fucking Hart P.N. Chub Rock. I'm an old school fucking G. And don't fucking play with me. Just because you want to keep a Jewish fucking girl down. You want to laugh around. You know, pretend you're a fucking artist and a fucking jeweler. Go right ahead, bitch. His jewelry stinks. Are you kidding me? Oh, my me? God. It's the worst jewelry ever. Speaking it's of so jewelry, creative. speaking Ooh. of jewelry, where do you find our jewelry that doesn't stink and helps support this show? Look, I'm going to start a great meme war. I'm going to start making fun of Kong Gay West all fucking day. And you know what? I, I, I really... I fantasize about, like, literally beating pedophiles to death with my fist. But yeah, man, I, my, my grandfather was uh, Malcolm X. I don't give a fuck who his grandfather was. I, I would like to grab him that. by his fucking esophagus and fucking break it in two. Are you kidding me, Kanye West? Your I'm music fucking right stinks. Now, Bruce, if murder was legal, I'd fucking kill you. I'll kill you too, you son of a bitch. <laughs> now, plug, plug the fucking jewelry before I have just uh, a go berserk. <laughs> Before I what? <laughs> All Before right. I lift, like you know, the whole desk up and shit, exactly. in, in a rage that yeah. I can't that I can't beat pedophiles to death with my bare fist, and, and that they're stealing my child from me, and I got to deal with cock sucking, ambulance chasing, fucking lawyers, and illiterate wetbacks that know nothing about American fucking law. Go on, continue, and please support this program. Well, on the wetback note, um, you know, you are. Latino yourself, so. Yeah, but I didn't cross the fucking Rio Grande. Yes, and Los me. Angeles, I drove across it. Are with you me. ever going to promote the jewelry? <laughs> yes, I am. Um, but you want to lead it in a nice laugh, you know? So, we were on eBay. For those of you who like to make deals, go and uh, type in Outrageous Jewelry or Outrageous Jewels. You'll see about 500 items, maybe about 600. That I made with my bare hands. Yeah. We got earrings, 
cuffs, men's cuffs, uh, copper and sterling, straight up sterling, straight up copper. Um, hey, you get stuff for your mistress, for your mistress's mistress. We got necklaces, um, just beautiful repurposed sterling that nobody ever, ever did before, okay? They could try to copy, but there's only one original because every time you come into Astro, there's something new, exciting, and unique. Original! Kind of like Mark Twain being played by Vanilla Ice. That's pretty original. That anyway, go on. That funny. We'll get into that later. But go to, um, first try us on eBay if you can find us. Just type in Outrageous Jewelry. eBay, you'll find us. Um, or you can go to Etsy.com. we got a 50 off sale right now. Etsy.com slash shop slash Antique Obsessions. Or Etsy.com slash shop slash uh, Conceptual Subculture. So you can just type it into Google Conceptual Subculture. And Etsy, you'll just find us automatically in both stores linked to each other. We're also on handmade, Amazon handmade. So we make, uh, also we have necklaces, beaded necklaces, Shambhala bracelets, uh, leather wrap bracelets, um, beautiful, we ha I have like 20 more things I'm loading up today. Everything, and we even have antique silver plate. And actually, what I'm loading up late, later tonight are, uh, are these SWAT I mean, SWAT stickers. They're like two bracelets that I got from pre-World War II. Uh, straight up fucking SWAT stickers on them. Man, I'm going to and 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 buy and buy my jewelry. Yeah, Art Deco, uh, antique, with real SWAT stickers. They can't say shit to me about them on eBay because it's an antique. I'm going to buy well, first of all, II. First of all, the SWAT stickers don't even belong to Nazis. I mean, they go all the way back to Hinduism and, and Buddhism. But anyway, go on. Right. So they're gonna, I'm gonna put them up like tomorrow, you know, tonight, later, it depends, you know. I gotta write a bar grievance on their fucking lawyer. That's right, but don't, don't feel too sorry for us, folks, because we're gonna take these evildoers and, and uh, I'm gonna push their shit in. <laughs> uh, that's the thing uh, that la Latinos like to say, Latino uh, gang gang members, you know, like, like my friend Smiley, he used to say, Yeah, I always get love from the homies. Yeah, yeah, because they love to get that shit pushed in. And I don't feel happy about having to push some, some vato shit in. Because I don't swing that way. But you know what, Mr. Crooked FBI lawyer, that I don't know who the fuck you worth, work for or you're part of some Pizzagate thing, I'm going to push your shit in, buddy. Okay? I know you listen to this fucking program. Uh, you know, nothing that, that I say on my program you could use against me in a court of nothing. law. Nothing. We have first Because you know, what? you know what? I'll just use the Alex Jones defense. I'm an actor. Oh, oh, an actor. Yeah, I told my brother who went to law school, I said, there are, everybody's laughing at you. You know, don't even try to lie and shit. It's going to come back, and I'm going to shoot your motherfucking client for emotional distress for financial Well, let me damages. tell you something. This firm of theirs is going to meet up with uh, CNN in, in the graves, in the graveyard. You know, CNN's going to be there soon enough. And it's just a scary sight. Moving forward, uh, you know the G20 summit where all the world leaders, you know, the, the, the Illuminati puppets go to feel big. Uh, there was the stupidest protest you could imagine. Uh, violent hordes of uh, zombie protesters. Look, look at them. Is everything is boring, right? Everything is just stop yawning too much because I don't want my fucking audience to yawn. Okay. Uh, that's the thing. Zombie hordes of violent protesters greet Trump at G20. I mean, everything's just a bad art statement, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like an art piece, actually. It looks like a, like a movie, like Universal Movie sponsored it. Uh, it. That's what we're living in. We're living in, in the fucking Night of the Living Dead. You got a CNN on the tombstones and a bunch of uh, zombies protesting Trump. It was a controlled paradigm of controlled pop propaganda. So they... Who else but to, you know, pay for the propaganda, the, the, the parades, the, um, all of the whole revolution. George Soros but pays George for Soros. that. And, but, and here, here's another thing. Uh, did you know, did you know, folks, that uh, Macaroon or Macron, that cookie that works for the Rothschilds out there in France, did you know he was in a predator natural relationship? He, I believe he married his wife who was his teacher, and he started banging her when he was 15, and she was like 49 or something. Oh, my God. You see what I'm saying? I mean, when Jaja was talking about they hold secrets over you, 
Hey, this is probably one of those secrets that, you know, that that pussy from France probably thought would never allow him to be, uh, you know, the the ruler of France. Okay, that freaking uh, cesspit of Islam. I mean, I don't even think they should call France France anymore. It should be uh, France Slam or London Stan, right? I mean, you don't even recognize these countries anymore, yeah. do you? I mean, <laughs> you've gone there before. Do you recognize these countries? I mean, every corner has a bed bug ridden Yemenite all over the place. Pretty much so. I mean, it's it's been that way forever, Bruce. I mean, like I said, that I've been to Paris many, many times, and even years ago, you see on the subways actual Arabic. It's like you have French. It's like they're catering to them. They cater to them. It's, like, lovely it's to them. like instead of telling the Mexicans, no, you can't have Univision over here, you gotta watch uh, ABC, it's like, oh, bala, hala, hala, ala, and there's your ala, and there's your dirka, and put on your burka over there. But they made it very, very friendly for the Arabs. Here in America, we we don't do half of what they do over there. I mean, right, are there right. signs really in Spanish everywhere? Are they spa are there signs in Spanish everywhere? No. The only signs I see are the ones with those uh, Mexicans running across the border. That sign's funny. Uh, you know, the the running Mexicans. Anyway, what do you think of macaron? Not the cookie, but macaron of France is Rothschild plant. Uh, this Rothschild stoolie. What do you oh, think? Dude. What do you think of him getting? Uh, uh, Butt fucked by his teacher. Was it a man? No, it was, it was a woman. How do you know? It was How do you know she didn't put on the 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 strap on? Uh, no, what I'm saying is they were having a a. a predator natural relationship were they not i mean you yeah. see how this goes on even in the elite they yeah. have a tendency yeah, but, but for he was this. 15 right yes so there was something willing about so him. they were targeting him well i think he wanted with this uh, ultra cougar yeah does she look okay now so you think he was hot for a teacher like the van halen song so he gets a pass right yeah, I had one of my students that was like totally hot for me, but I wouldn't date him. And then it was like two years after I left that school and he was already in college and then we started actually dating. Uh, I, okay, what is this, the fucking love connection? You want yeah. you want me to talk about all the skanks that El Gran Montalvo banged? I know about them, but you want to go ahead? I wasn't but, really bringing it up to that. I was know talking about, no, about no, no, the no. dynamics of a, of a student-teacher relationship, you know, being in the woman's point of view. I, I was like, I would oh, never I do that. I would never abuse my power, ever. You know, matter, even if you... Well, Macaron's teacher did. What well, do you mean, even if you... If, but I'm saying if I... You wouldn't be able to resist the Montalban But I would have to, because my morals are really, like, straight up. We would have know? to have a secret love, kind of oh, like... I would never like, Kind of like Anakin Skywalker and Padme, because they have risk, the same thing going on. You don't risk your livelihood in New York. You'd be homeless and fucking without an apartment. It's not Anyway, anyway, isn't CNN ISIS now? I mean, they act just like ISIS. You know what? They get so fucking mad. They say, oh my God, Trump's inciting violence. What happened with Kathy Griffin holding his severed bloody head? Right. That wasn't violent? You fucking hypocrite pieces of shit. But you know what they're mad about? They're all going to cover and making such a big stink about it because Trump is shoving it in their face because they oh, he's are fake. Lining because them. they are fake news. They fucking lied. People are being fired. They they can be sued because of their fake news. And Trump is just laughing at I'll them. I'll tell you what. And now, now CNN is trying to dis say something that he doesn't have the, the right. They should charge CNN. Man. Listen to me. Oh, please. They should charge CNN with sedition. Okay? They should charge CNN with sedition. Yeah, he could, he could go hard on them. They're just like, don't, and that's why he's just trying to be funny about it. Okay, let's go to rapid fire news here. Uh, EU and Japan strike a new trade deal. EU and Japan deal sends anti-protectionist signal before G20 German minister. Republican lawmaker Steve Kalis condition worsens after June shooting. The flashpoints for world leaders at G20 summit. This is all on Zero Hedge. I look at Zero Hedge. Uh, leftist protesters vowed to disrupt G20 summit in Hamburg. Again, dressed up like Night of the Living Dead. Uh, that's what they're doing. Trump weighs pretty severe things for North Korea over launch. China's Z urges peaceful resolution to North Korea issue. How the June jobs report matters for the Fed. What? The Fed needs to be abolished, plain and simple, folks. Uh, at least 123 Venezuelan soldiers detained since protests. It, it's it's all out anarchy, but that that's 
That's what Bernie Sanders wants, that communist slime. Hey, he wants us to end up like Venezuela, right? That sounds that sounds good to the Democrats, right? Look, the DNC hacked the DNC, all right? It wasn't John Podesta's fucking password password, all right? All right? There was no Russian collusion, you fucking jackasses. All right? You, you want to turn this country into Venezuela. Look at this. At least 123 Venezuelan soldiers detained. I mean, people are uh, being shot in the back of the head, right in the street, like like dogs. Like dogs, folks. That's what you want? So uh, keep electing Democrats. That's, your, that's what you're going to get. But that's never going to happen again. I don't think a Democrat will ever get elected again to uh, any high position in, in the United States. See how many seats they're losing? Uh, the, dem the demagogues? It says here, can U.S. defend against North Korea? Not all agree. Uh... Pretty sure North Korea has already been taken over by our CIA. Otherwise, why would they bother to make that interview movie, right? With the jackass Seth Rogen and, and his butt buddy, James Franco. Why would they bother to make that movie? Again, the, the predictive programming, the Pavlovian conditioning to get you ready to accept that North Korea is nothing but a paper tiger, uh, a fucking boogeyman, all right? How, how do you not know that Kim Jong-un's not some fucking... Uh, clone or some hologram you saw that tupac hologram right look real as fuck well i'm sure they got some newer shit it's 2017 right so i, I don't agree it's dr strange love i don't i don't believe some north korea with their little cardboard fucking uh missiles is gonna do jack shit to me you know i was thinking maybe they were firing icbms into plate tectonics i mean underwater i mean that could be something else who knows you got to be intel, you got to get intel to really know what the fuck's going on, and uh, we're not part of the the dark command, folks, okay? Talk radio is used by the military-industrial complex, and all these guys out there, uh, supposedly the, the truth-sayers, they're working for the man, all right, most of the time, so uh, we don't get that kind of intel, all right? We just read what's on Zero Hedge, that's our rapid-fire news. Says here, South Korea's moon says it's time for North Korea to decide. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Qatar Airways aim to start buying American Airlines. States may shackle AT&T, Comcast, web data after U.S. retreat. Ships exporting Iran oil go dark, raising sanctions, red flags. CEO worker pay ratio generates outrage and some insight. Amazon and Dish Network, a match in the making. All that, you know, I heard that Amazon's going to start, like, delivering fucking Olive Garden to your door. Believe that? If I want, like, some shitty Italian food, I'll have a drone hovering it over my fucking window. So, unbelievable. A Amazon's really trying to take over. Uh, it says here, these U.S. states still haven't fully recovered from the recession. Yeah, while Obama... And his man ape for a wife are getting seven point one million dollar book deals and buying eight point one million dollar homes and staying in Washington D.C. to wage war on the sitting president thrives. Again, this is a guy. He'll always remind you that it's his, it's it's his right to thrive, and, and you know he's become everything that he's hated. Okay, he's gone from driving a car with a huge hole in the in the freaking bottom to now, uh, you know, not even driving at all. He, he has drivers, this piece of shit, this uh, son of uh, Frank Marshall Davis, all right, Barry Marshall Davis. Uh, you're a fucking communist agent, and I don't care if it brings on endless civil war. I'll arm myself to the teeth and fight through it, motherfucker. But I want you fucking arrested, Barack Obama. You have too much fucking power. And every time I see you, it makes me fucking sick to my stomach that you just can't fucking go away and disappear into the fucking ether like the piece of shit that you are. I'm tired of all you bastards. The American people will fucking rise again like the phoenix rising out of the ashes. We will strike back. Your empire has fallen. That's why Trump was picked, folks. That's what you see. A simple meme war has CNN, you know, start raving mad. They, they're they so mad that they had to go after the 13-year-old that produced the meme. And, and, you know, supposedly his father punched out a freaking CNN reporter. I mean, they're harassing just uh, 
They, they want to harass normal, everyday Trump supporters. I mean, it's unbelievable. I, I said it before, I'll say it again. You, you should reconsider. If you go out and you're wearing your Trump gear and, and your Trump hat and you make America great at, you should reconsider ever ordering things like clam chowder. Because I'm telling you, they're, they're going to fucking nut in your clam chowder. I'm sorry. It's just... It's just the facts of life. Will they or will they not nut in people's clam chowder now? I think my co-host disappeared into the ether. Yes. She just went to go get a bud. Because that's what we do here. We don't care that Jeff Sessions is intensifying the drug war. We're going to... We're gonna make sure that you know they drain that swamp too, right? I mean, Chris, I don't really think it's good to like come off so harsh on on Obama because he's got a lot of power. First of all, Michelle Obama is running around, or Michael, or whatever that man ape is running around calling Melania a porn star and a bitch and all sorts of things. Terrible. I mean, it's unfucking believable. And let me tell you something else, okay? I'm so glad that all the, these supposed designers that dress this man monkey woman, all right, decided not to dress Melania because did you see how awful that freaking thing looked? Uh, that ape, Michelle I Obama, I mean, when she was dressed in these big fucking ugly oh. ass momos, you think they want to see the first lady in that? Look, Trump knows style, and he said, I don't think so. I got way better guys for that. Yeah, first of all, Ivanka's a freaking great designer herself. She's a great jewelry designer. As a jewelry designer, I respect her designs, you know? And I, and I think she, like, looked at something that I did and, like, got an idea for it. But I, I love what she did with it. She, like, put diamonds on something that I just kind of a found item but um speaking of Ivanka this is breaking news a knife wielding man was arrested at Trump Tower and he wanted to meet with Ivanka so now they're oh saying God. now they're sending MK Ultra mind control assassins after the Trump family oh God. I mean this is what we have we have deep state assassination plots of Trump okay they're trying to go after Trump uh, the, the the corrupt fake news media the lamestream media, they have to be stopped. We've been exposing every time there's a Sandy Hook or a, a false flag or a Black Ops style false flag. We, on the alternative media, okay, we have been saying that's a hoax. That's fake, fake, fake. And now we finally have a president that's in the highest uh, just office. This mm -hmm. is the presidency calling it like it is, saying it like we do, fake. They're fake news. And he was funny about it. And you know, it's so... it's so. But they're terrorists also. They, CNN is a fucking terrorist. And he's being light about these terrorists because it's... And you have to kind of be funny because although if he wants to be mad, you know, he's going to look like a tyrant. But the minute he starts making jokes, they get offended. They start trying to take... Oh, they're butthurt. Totally butthurt. You know, totally like they're, they're the ones that butthurt. are losers. They, they were caught in a lie. He only made fun of them. And then they started complaining that he was joking. Oh, well, and who doesn't have a sense of humor? Complaining about ice cream. Complaining about ketchup steak. Hey, motherfuckers, I eat ketchup eat. steak. We eat ketchup steak. All right, you fake news motherfuckers. I'm sick of it. I'm really sick of it. Okay? And, uh, you know, I, I'm but just I sick of it. But I would be careful about Barack Obama. Like, you know, I mean, he still has a lot of power. I mean, I'm not trying to call for his arrest straight up. You know, Barry, do, do you. Do what you got to do. If somebody else going to arrest you, I got nothing to do with it. You hear me? I don't really give a fuck. Just keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? My husband's just angry because, you know, he can't talk to his... But he can't talk to his... Look, daughter. I need like a... <laughs> I need like a tikkun from the, from the Kabbalah done. I, because, you know, I know I, I chose my own parents beforehand, yeah. and now I'm thinking, you know, why the hell did I choose these people? They're, they're like demons. They're, they're, they're literally working for the Jesuits. I don't know if my own family are reptilians. Therefore, am I a reptilian? Look at me in the eyes and tell me if my eyes are slitting no. and changing right no, no. now. You picked them because you wanted to ex accelerate, you know, um, have a little bit of flavor and accept, be able to accelerate through your own, um, like, like a fight. Because I'm just thinking that your father's such a fighter, and you came into the ultimate fighter because you wanted to be an ultimate fighter, and that's who you are. So you, you never, it's not really your, never your fault that you didn't have any peace in your house because your parents are very low-functioning, you know, intelligent. I mean, I wanted to read... 
uh, To Kill a Mockingbird or Fahrenheit 451, and they would get in the way. They would, like, rip your books up. Apparently. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Throw them totally. out, you know. Oh, burn them, oh, what are you, literally. What are you reading? You are reading? Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Well, idiot. look, look, it was, like, the dark side of the moon with these people. It was, like... Uh, the yin and the yang. They weren't my yin to my yang, period. So I had to get the fuck out of there. Did you know, folks, here's a fun fact. Did you know that there's a, a yin-yang symbol on, um, on one of Saturn's moons? Yeah. Unbelievable. Yin-yang. And, and I believe that when my shit turns rainbow shit. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's NASA. They got the little snake tongue in the logo, right? I mean, they're telling us there's a hexagon on Saturn. Yeah, hexagon. You know, um, yeah. Hexagram. I want to fly out in the Millennium Falcon... And see the hexagram on Saturn, my this damn is self. Bullshit. It's just bullshit. Yeah, they can't even get that. It's probably just some CGI imagery anyway. I mean, they can't even get a rocket to go there and back. It's so full of shit. It's all fake. That's right. It's it's how, all. How do we it's know? Like fake. you said something funny the other day. You're like, what if there weren't really any planets out there at all? We're just a bunch of disks. We're like half hemispheres, you know, everywhere. Because that's kind of like what the Earth is. It's like kind of like a half a ball. It's like a half a planet. It's not really, even though we're on a flat plane, but underneath us is not flat. We're not just like a flat disk. And that's what we need to do. We need to intensify the great meme war. It can't just be about CNN. It has to expose uh, pathetic slime that are not artists like Kanye West for being involved in Beats of Gay. We got to expose uh, the flat Earth. I mean, we got to take the meme war to another level, don't we? Yeah. Tell you, it, it's got to intensify now. Before we go, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I want to uh, remind you, you can uh, follow us at Twitter, at Bruce Montaldo, at Jaja. You can like the show on Facebook, the Bruce Montaldo Show. You can listen to us on TalkStream Live, Spreaker, uh, iTunes, and Stitcher. You can find us all. Uh, on 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 those uh, stations, you can find us there. You can also find us now on Podomatic, and we're on uh, 6 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Wait, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 9 p.m. Eastern. Right. And Facebook. That's right. We're on Facebook. We just like okay. the Bruce Montalvo show. But you know what? We make such beautiful, one of a kind, avant garde jewelry. I mean, it's just it's just wearable art, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful it's art. Really awesome. Tell them about it. Yeah, well, you should go to um, Etsy and Etsy.com slash shop slash antique obsessions or anti or uh, conceptual subculture. So that's one word, conceptual subculture. There's no store like that. Um, and you'll find uh, everything from leather to natural stones, sterling, all kinds of one-of-a-kind creations. So support our show. Support us. Go to Antique Obsessions if you have a little more money. I don't really like asking for handouts, but I really want people to, you know, I really appreciate when people buy my jewelry and and appreciate it. You know, I don't don't just buy because you know you want to, you know, just because you feel like you have to. But I'd rather you you bought because you found something you really liked, you know, and then told us that you liked it because that that really makes us happy, you know. Yeah, we we made some beautiful fleur de lis copper. Uh, beautiful bracelets. Yeah. Making some beautiful sterling Embossed. silver earrings. I mean, uh, we, yeah. we got That's a, a new, sh say. new shipment of uh, Tiffany sterling that we're going to be working with. Yeah, uh, we got a new Tiffany sterling. We got um, some solid, plain new sterling that we're going to be using to form fold over some pieces that are just we haven't really had a good solution for yet. But uh, they've been waiting for the right design, and then we finally got it. And we're just constantly coming up with new ideas and excelling our lines. And there's something for everybody. We even have some silver plate and some brass, some lower end items and beaded necklaces and things like that that are not pricey. So, you know, if you just wanted to pick something up, pass it out for a gift, we always put uh, our jewelry in, in nice pretty little bags. It's easy to, to, uh, to repackage somehow, but you do get a bag too and a card. And you can find us on Facebook at Antique Obsessions. Click like and Conceptual Subculture on Facebook. Click like and yeah, some people help that's us where out. You can find us very, out. We have very big buyers. Um, very you're, high you're also you're also uh, in some art shows, right? Let let our audience know. Yeah, I'm in a show on uh, it's called the Untitled Space on Lisbon Art Street. There's a show right now called the Secret Garden. It's with Indira Cesare. So. 
you know, um, she's she's a curator, and uh, you could go there. It should be up for another few weeks. And the piece that I have is a photograph of this dominatrix. She's just like blowing smoke while this girl's like bent over, waiting to get spanked on a on a spanking. Uh, like a table, so that was kind Sounds of... Sounds intriguing. Yeah, well, whatever, I was at this weird fucking club, right? What do you want, you know? It was pretty, the colors are pretty, but <clears throat> I don't even have any more of the prints left. And waiting I, and waiting I, to get spanked, it, it sounds like a picture that would make people want to spank their monkey. I guess some people would want to spank their monkey. <laughs> I said spank their monkey. Yes. And with that, you monkey spanks, we have come to the end of the show. Remember, this is... The Great Meme War, you're going to be a part of it, right? Pepe the Frog's the general, and you have your commandant, uh, Staff Sergeant Bruce Montalvo here every Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. I mean, yo, I'm fighting like FBI crooked fucking cockroach lawyers, man. Okay? <laughs> I'm about to give them the fucking razor's edge, okay? So don't feel bad about me, man, because I'm going to have... Bruce Montalvo Jr. Junior, right? Yeah. I keep forgetting. She's like, uh, I want to call her Junior, but I like stop yeah, myself. Junior, uh, Bruce Montalvo Junior, if that's even a word. Yeah. Okay, it's uh, the female Junior. She's going to be talking about aliens and reptilians long after I'm gone. She's going to take up my mantle. Kind of like, uh, you know, in Star Wars when Rey is giving the lightsaber to Luke, you know what I'm saying? It, it shall continue. The force shall be awakened, and uh, I'm gonna come back with, with a vengeance with a force they, 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 because they because I don't know who the fuck is trying to uh, maybe kidnap my daughter, and put her in some pizza gate fucking ring. I'm more I mean, afraid it, of your I, mother touching hunts. Do you know seriously? I'm more afraid of your, your psycho mother because she was straight up molested by her father. She she's a straight up victim. She's her behaving like a psychopath, like she's got something to protect. And I think she I think your mother's touching her. I do. Well, I mean, we don't we don't have enough evidence to prove that, and and I mean it, it explains why they suddenly just cut off all communication of my child. This is this is terrible. I mean, I mean any patriots going through this. I mean Alex Jones is going through this. I'm going through this. Many others, you know, that don't have talk radio shows. You're probably going through this, and if you are, trust me, I feel your pain. You know that they're coming after our fucking kids. This uh, Marxist, liberal, illegal, alien loving New World Order. Yeah. They want to give these people wings to destroy American citizens here at home and steal our children. Well, it's not going to fly. All right? I'm going to take her lawyer out and I'm going to fuck him in the middle of the street. That's right. That's right. And, you know, I kind of gave him a good rogering today, but, you know, they ganged up on me a little bit. You know, I was expecting the next part. To no, but I ended up kicking their asses, right? I mean, they, 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 they're like the fish that got caught by the hook. Yeah. Now I'm going to reel them in. They should have blind the I'm put them on the fucking grill lies. and squirt a little bit of lime on the sons the of bitches. The judge told them that they were liars. Straight up. Liars. They said that you're lying. This is not true. And then raise an eyebrow everything that they said. They're that's right. Evil, evil will totally be brought to the Anyway, light. that's right, folks. Uh, we're out of time, and we'll catch you next week. Uh, we'll do two hours next week. We'll go back to that format. But as of right now, uh, we got work to do. We got work to do. We, we got work to do. I've been fighting uh, FBI crooked zebras all day. All right, I'm like the golden Jew from Casino. All right, I, I'm getting all the fucking uh, all the the bookies, you know, in line, and, and you know, now it's time for me to go collect my money. So see you guys later. Shabbat shalom.